In this lesson, we will take a much closer look at the mechanisms by which an action potential is generated at the axon initial segment. Let's focus in on the axon initial segment where action potentials originate. Recall that the membrane potential of a neuron at rest is relatively constant, despite the high pressure acting to drive sodium ions into the cell. This is because the resting membrane is relatively impermeable to sodium. But things suddenly change when the membrane potential of the axon is depolarized to the threshold of excitation by an EPSP. There are three key events. First, at that point in time when the threshold of excitation is surpassed, the sodium channels open and sodium ions rush into the cell through the membrane of the axon initial segment. This is the beginning of the rising phase of the action potential. Second, as the membrane potential is depolarizing due to the influx of sodium ions, the voltage-gated potassium channels open and potassium begins to leak out of the cell. Third, once the membrane potential depolarizes sufficiently, the sodium channels become inactivated stopping the sodium from leaving the cell. This is the end of the rising phase of the action potential. But the potassium channels are still open, so potassium continues to leave through the membrane. This is the beginning of the repolarization phase of the action potential. Potassium continues to leave through the membrane until such a time that the cell is repolarized and the potassium channels begin to close. The closing of the potassium channels marks the end of the repolarization phase of the action potential. But the potassium channels close rather slowly, so the membrane potential becomes hyperpolarized. And that hyperpolarization is maintained for a period of time until the membrane returns to the resting membrane potential. 